retinal detachment. In this case, we have a patient who presented with a two-day history of flashing lights and floaters. Let's have a look at the case and see what signs we can see. So we can see that the patient's phakic, and there we can see that the patient's got a PVD. Now, what I'm drawing on here is the posterior hyaloid membrane, and what you can see is that there's this optically empty space behind it. The patient has a PVD. Now, we're agitating the vitreous, we're asking the patient to look up, down, and then straight ahead, and we can see these orange flecks. Look at these orange flecks that I'm labeling there, and they're very different to cells or red blood cells. They're large, and they're orange, and they're very reflective. So this sign is a real red flag that the patient may have had a, have a retinal tear or retinal detachment. And when we see this, it really raises our suspicions that there is pathology and not just a PVD. So we need to examine the patient very carefully to identify this tear. We can actually see that vitreous movement even through the pupil and retroillumination there. So we can see that the patient's quite myopic from the appearance of the fundus. And this patient actually has a superior retinal detachment. That is actually slightly hard to see on this video, unfortunately. E even clinically, it was quite a hazy view as well of this affected area, and hopefully we will be able to pick out some areas. And I think one of the clues will really be that distortion of the, red, the, the blood vessels. But, I'm, there you go, I think you can just see just there very subtly. But you know, bear in mind, I'm going to be putting some really obvious large retinal detachment cases where tears are visible, and in this video series, I really hope that you'll become confident at identifying these pathologies. So let me know if you've got any requests for cases, and let me know what you think.